For the first time in nearly five years, South Korea has slapped a fresh round of sanctions on its northern neighbour over a missile test this morning. But that has done little to deter Pyongyang. Seoul reports that North Korea has just fired additional artillery shells off its east and west coast. Pyongyang fired one missile and 170 artillery shots overnight and also deployed military planes. And these flew close to the South Korean border. In response to the provocations, South Korea scrambled fighter jets to fend off possible incursions. South Korea's president says the North's latest missile launches violate the inter-Korean military agreement, as well as UN Security Council resolutions. The North claims its actions were in response to Seoul's artillery drills conducted near their border yesterday. Are those exercises coming just one day after North Korean leader Kim Jong-un oversaw the test firing of two long-range cruise missiles? North Korea has launched around 50 missiles this year, raising concerns it's getting ready for a nuclear test. And Lim Min-suk with more on what these latest sanctions could mean for North Korea's already battered economy. On South Korea's blacklist targeting Pyongyang were 15 North Korean individuals and 16 institutions. They're mostly officials working at shipping farms and organizations related to North Korea's missile program and also those involved in the procurement of weapons of mass destruction. The sanctions were announced as South Korea's military issued a stern warning to North Korea to immediately stop its provocations. 이번 북한의 동서의 완충무역 내에서의 포병 사격과 단거리 탄도 미사일 발사는 각각 919 군사비와 UN 안보리 규제에 대한 명백한 위반으로 한반도는 물론 국제 사회의 평화와 안정을 해치는 심각한 도발 행위이다. North Korea's record missile launches this year have triggered calls within the ruling party to terminate the landmark military agreement that was signed by former President Moon Jae-in during a 2018 summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. In response to the recent developments, Mr. Moon's party, now in the opposition, held a press conference in parliament. Experts in South Korea say any unilateral sanctions are mostly a symbolic gesture, as there are no interactions between South and North Korea, which remain technically at war. Prior to the announcement of the new sanctions, South Korea and the United States, as well as Japan, have ramped up military actions against North Korea's provocations by having more military drills in the region. The Defense Ministry on Friday said it will be holding more annual drills starting next week, including field training simulator drills to counter threats from North Korea. And there will be some participation from the United States. Lim Yang-suk, CNA, Seoul.